Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no-hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Thursday, the 29th of March. I'm James Spann. Got rain in progress across the state this afternoon. No severe weather problems so far. Things are looking good there. The weekend looks great and a chance of rain again early next week. Let's go in there and talk about things. There's the upper look. Big trough coming in from the west. We're pretty fortunate. Typically, when you see something like that in late March, we could see severe weather, but really not happening today. This is the radar at 214. Uh, rain falling basically from Birmingham and Gadsden West. Uh, if you look really carefully up around Huntsville, you see two lightning bolts, and that's about it. We've seen basically no thunder or lightning otherwise. And still, there could be a few strong storms in the eastern side of the state, but the severe weather chance for the northern half of the state is very, very low for the rest of today. Where the rain is falling, temperatures are in the upper 50s and low 60s, nice and cool and stable, but Montgomery's sitting at 80. And again, there's some unstable air there, so we'll keep an eye on the storms coming through southeast Alabama this afternoon. Around the nation, pretty cold up north. Temperatures way below freezing on this late March day on the Canadian border. But for us, it'll be nice and mild this weekend with highs in the 70s. There's the watch warning map. We've got a flash flood watch in effect, basically from uh, Nashville north and up into parts of Kentucky, southern Ohio, and West Virginia. The flash flood watch for the northwestern corner of Alabama was canceled this morning. And again, this is the convective outlook. This was the one issued at 11.30 this morning. A new one's going to be out by the time you watch this. They're going to take out the chance of severe weather for the northern half of the state. But still, we'll watch the uh, southern counties for the chance of a few strong storms for the next few hours. Here's the rain for the next seven days. This counts the rain we had today. The eastern part of the country fairly wet. Rain amounts in Alabama generally one to one and a half inches. And beyond today, the next chance of rain seems to be Tuesday night of next week. So, model fans, here we go. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock, troughing digging through. Down below that, we're expecting a clearing sky. We start the day with clouds during the morning, the sky becoming sunny by afternoon, and the high in the mid-60s. This is Saturday. The weekend starts off with a beautiful day, sunny with low 70s. Now, Saturday morning, we'll start the day around 40. Colder pockets will be in the 30s. Keep that in mind. But again, a really nice warm-up, and again, low 70s are likely by afternoon. Sunday, maybe a few showers over Tennessee, maybe touching the Alabama state border, but most of the state will be dry, partly to mostly sunny with, again, mid-70s likely. And Monday, looking good, partly sunny, the high pretty close to 80. Tuesday, during the day, the weather will most likely be dry, but clouds should increase the high should be in the upper 70s. And here comes the next chance of rain. This is Tuesday night with a cold front dropping in here. That's not really a severe weather look, but as always, we have to watch any system in early April. And Wednesday, clearing and cooler. We could be in the 50s much of the day with a pretty good north wind. And a week from today, look at that vortex over eastern Canada. Wow, this is Thursday, April 5th. Down below that, cool and dry. We'll be uh, maybe in the 30s in spots that morning. We'll keep an eye on things, but the high should be close to 70. This is the end of the forecast period. Sunday, the 8th of April, got troughing to the west. And if this were to verify, that would be wet. Let's check the numbers off the GFS Ensemble. It's got us up there close to 80 on Monday and Tuesday. Then a cool down. You can see that low Thursday morning of next week, around 40. That's when we could see some 30s, and after that, highs mostly in the 70s and lows mostly in the 50s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Summer's just around the corner, and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models, so give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.